Hello everyone and welcome back to ARK Survival Evolved. This is the Satirica and checking in. Now in today's episode we are going to try and get the uh, industrial grill actually. So I've been... I haven't really been saving any resources or anything. Today I've been farming and... Uh, yeah, pretty much farming metal and farming levels for my T-Rexes. Also as you can see we have a new T-Rex. It's not really mine. Um, but stuff happened in the tribe, things got stolen, etc, etc, so we had to kick some people. Uh, and uh, yeah, now I could I could get one of their rixes after that. So this is the owner, um, there's a previous owner, was a member of Frost pretty much, so um, they're not with us anymore, so now it's uh, pretty much mine. Um, I just can't rename it, so Improved Meathead is gonna be its name, um, but it's pretty good. Um, so yeah, like I said, I've been trying to level up some dinos of mine. So we have Dolly at level 71 now, and we have Roxy at level 56, which is pretty good. Uh, my <laughs> other mammoth died because it got glitched, um, and then I just left him there and then he died. Someone probably killed him. Um, but yeah, this is my new mammoth. Uh, also named Puppy, because I just replaced the name pretty much. And uh, it's now level 40. It's not too bad. Puppy was level 52 or th something, I think. And this was level 26 when I tamed it, and I got 10 levels on it. So that's pretty good. And now it's level 40. So that's good. We have a headbutt. Level 58 and parallel level 49. They're just carrier. They're just there to carry weight for me when I farm. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the updates that we have from today, I believe. Um, so yeah, what we're gonna do now is that we're going to get all the stuff that we have to the mountain. So what you need is 30 crystal, you need 40 oil, you need 40 cementing paste and 300 metal. So we're just gonna take Patty and go to the mountain or to our mountain base. We have a level up so we can do stamina. All right, and we can be getting going towards the mountain base. Um, I think I might have enough metal there because I was melting some before. And I don't know if it's still there or not, but we I guess we'll find out. Otherwise we can go and farm some metal as well and melt it. So let's see, there's a gold airdrop over here that I would like to get. I'm not 100 percent sure if um, we can find something good from here. Let's see. Blueprint for a medium crop plot. Nice. Um, where is my bird? Right. I haven't learned any, learned any of them, so I might as well just take it. Just in case I need it for the future. You never know. I might become a farmer. <laughs> no, it's just, just joking. I'm not going to become a farmer. It's all too fun to be a warrior, pretty much. So we have a f quite a few high level dinosaurs now. I'm gonna try and get some more as well. Um, I don't want to go for numbers. I've said it before. I'm gonna want go for high level ones, but I can still like have four high level ones rather than just having one or two. Because it doesn't take that much to farm it, especially not when you have uh, tamed them and on a high level. That's pretty much what you want to go for, like level 29 or something. There's a gold and a red airdrop over there. I would like to go there but we're not gonna go there now so let's go inside here I'm gonna park my bird in here because what happened earlier today was that I parked my birds outside of the base and someone sniped two of them um, so yeah I lost two Argentavises today 
which kind of sucks, but that's how it is. So let's see, we have 172 metal in here. Can I walk with that? No, I can't. That's perfect because now I can't move. <laughs> let's just drop half of it. And let's head over to the fabricator if I can access it. Server lag. Come on. There we go. So put that in there. So it looks like all my metal is still here. So that was 172. There's nothing in there. Oh yeah, 8 there. 55. I hope we will have enough. Alright, so 170. Alright, that, that should be enough. Because there should be some still left in here. So if we put this in here. Let's see, it's 152. Yeah, that's definitely enough. Right. Not by far, but it is enough. So turn on, let's put this, this, and this here. So we go to structures, we have cooking and industrial grill, and we craft it. And then I'm gonna leave the rest here, because the other stuff is not mine. As a matter of fact, I do have a bunch of metal in here that I left, uh, which we can't take with us right now. I have my Argentavis saddle as well, which is mine. I'm going to take that back. Um, let's see how my weight is. My weight is 66, and this little fella can carry 194, so... 76 is almost 100 now, so I might take like 50 metal ingots with me. Either that or the obsidian. I don't know. I can take the obsidian, I guess, because I need polymer. Where did my bear go? Oh, it just decided to sit down in the corner. Alright, it's good enough for me. Let's put some extra weight on these guys. Because they can carry almost nothing. Should have like a mammoth or something in here, but yeah, I guess this is good for now. So anyway, now we can get back if I can get up on my bird and if I can manage to fly out of here. It would be awesome if the birds could fly backwards. Because <laughs> the turning radius is weird. I don't even know where I am now. Ah, this is so difficult. There we go. Finally. Let's just close this door and we can head back. If Paddy doesn't fly away. So you know, we're, we're quite heavy now. And there's a... Purple airdrop. Do we want a purple airdrop? Not sure. Do we? Maybe. Maybe we could wait for it. Yeah, I think we can wait for it. It's almost down anyway. It might give us something good. I don't know why that keeps coming on sometimes. I'm just pressing shift and then that window pops up. I know it's the Steam community or something, but it should be like Shift Tab, I think, or something. Might be my keyboard that's acting up as well. I don't know. But yeah, let's go down here, make sure that there's nothing here to kill us. Now there's a stag over here. So it looks pretty friendly. There's some Arden Tavises over there. Alright, stay here, Patty. And. We have it down here. Is a mammoth here? Alright, it's all good. Nothing that will kill us. Let's see what you have in store for us. Come on, can I access it? I access it anyway. Blue twin, flesh nut. Oh, I don't have that, so it's pretty good. And now we can head home. So, yeah, I haven't really gathered any materials for the towers. Or the third. 
Pretty much because I had to tame the mammoth today, as my previous one died, um, because I need something to gather wood with, just for the walls and everything. So I'll be busy with that and the leveling up, so that's why I haven't been farming any resources today. God, this is bright. Is it really 2.3 now? Feels so bright. I don't know. Just gonna go with it, I guess. Like, some updates has just made the reflections and everything worse. Like, now when the sun is reflected in the water, you, it's like you can barely see anything. Like it hurts in your eyes. But I hope they will fix it soon. Also I think they should fix like the following system when you have a ground mount and pretty much a flying mount. Because if you have this pteranodon following a land mount which is slow, then it will fly too quick and it will get stuck um, in the, the mount that you're riding pretty much. Also, another update is that we now have two more metal gates. So we have now three stone gates here and four <laughs> metal gates. That's pretty much because um, I remember that I can craft the metal gates now. So I just went ahead and did that earlier today. So yeah, now if someone would like to attack me, then it's four metal gates and three stone minimum you have one gate there and one gate over there as well just to cover the entrance entering sections here i guess also soon we're gonna place down some spike walls around this entire upper area just so that no one can jump in pretty much because i've been finding dinosaurs and people just all over the place sometimes people get stuck um so yeah, let's go ahead and place down the, well, barbecue. Now I need an in, in this industrial grill because it takes too long with only one, um, one campfire. So let's see, I think I could fit it in here. I think that should be alright to place it here. Like that. There we go. I hope it's not sticking out now. Probably it is. But that's fine. Um, let's. Uh, yeah, I also managed to fix this. So we have uh, all the vault pretty much sealed in now. So we have a roof as well. Everything in metal. And uh, let's see, let's get some gasoline, shall we? And we can uh, put the obsidian in here. And the Artavis saddle. That's pretty much it. I don't know why I closed it. So yeah, we can go ahead and put this in here. And let's go and get some meat so we can show you pretty much how good this thing is. I don't know which one would have the most meat on it. Because I've been farming with both, so they both should have a bunch of meat on them, which they do. Just look at that friggin' spoiled meat. And I've been dropping off so much spoiled meat today, it's like thousands. So let's just put some on us like that and give back 18 you don't need more <laughs> this is so ridiculous I don't even need this alright so we have some meat from him we can take some from here just to show you like how quick it is and what you can do with this I am also thinking about maybe crafting the fridge I think it is I think it's called fridge or if it's called something else in the game, I don't know. 
Um, so yeah, let's just put this in here. And let's make some magic. See... No, nothing but far. Right. Let's just leave it like this and turn it on. And there we go. So now it will cook. Um, can't remember how many it is. I think it's 13, 12 or 13 meat at the same time. So as you can see, it doesn't take long. Just wait a minute and uh, we will have like 13 cooked meat. I believe it's 13. Yeah, 13 cooked meat like that. Pretty awesome. Pretty cool, very good thing to have. Very expensive though, but um, definitely worth it if you have a metal base like we have up on the mountain now. Because like I did all this metal, uh, I did all the gates and this industrial grill now. Um, pretty much in less than two days. Maybe one, one and a half day I did it in. And I still have hundreds of metal left over so yeah it's pretty cool pretty cool thing now I, sh I should I don't know if I I don't think I have the engram I'm gonna check it out let's see is fabricator um, industrial grill generator where would he have it? Air conditioner. Um, can't see its fault. Where is the refrigerator? Can't see it. I'm probably just blind again. This always happens. When I'm trying to look for something, I can't see it. Then when I don't look for it, I see it. It has to be down here. But right now I just can't see it. It has to be underneath the fabricator because you have to craft it in a fabricator. Right? I mean I've seen it before. Just don't know what it, where it is. Generator. Grill. Well, no, I can't find it. Let's just check the fabricator and see if we can craft it here. Maybe structures. Um, metal. No storage. That's just a vault. Cooking. This is industrial grill. Electric. Here we have it. Refrigerator. So we need 120 metal ingots. We need 15 polymer. We need 25 crystals and 10 electronics. Alright, we could craft it um, and just replace the the little bin that we have here, the preserving bin. Because this doesn't really make the meat last that long. Um, I might do that. I just have to get all this stuff for it. But yeah, um, we're not going to do this in do that in this episode. Just gonna check on the meat. Let's see. So it's already. So we have 30, 60, 90, 120, 130 meat cooked in like two minutes. Which is pretty awesome. I'm running low on spark powder in this one, so we should probably go and get some more. I should have a bunch still left. Yeah, let's just take 45. That should be good. Um, yeah, this way. So yeah, I pretty much, uh, yeah, I, I really like this base. Um, it's coming along really, really well and uh, yeah, not a lot of things more to do before it's 100% uh, done. Um, we have all the dinosaurs, quite high levels ones. We have a level 65 Karno, which is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have the watchtowers pretty much soon. 
hopefully tomorrow we can build both of them together and uh, I'm not sure if I will be able to have two new th turrets but who knows maybe I will farm for it or maybe not I have to go down in the ocean and get some more pearls pretty much so I can get more electronics because I'm pretty much out of pearls I have like 60 or 70 left so that's not gonna be enough um, but yeah this is coming along really really well so I'm liking it my dinosaurs are getting very high level um, even though I have kind of many I have how many T-Rex do I have now three four five five T-Rex and one Spino it's not a lot but still some Spino the only thing I'm doing on that is the melee damage it's the only thing it's getting I don't even have a saddle for it so I can't ride it so for now it has 366 and 2000 health which is not very good <coughs> But then again, we kind of failed with the tame on this one because it got hit while it was being tamed, which made us lose like eight levels or something. So that kind of sucks. This guy levels up very, very fast. Um, also, melee damage for now. So as you can see, this is. I want to make a comparison as well. I want you to see this um, because this is how important it is to tame a high-level dinosaur. So you don't tame a level 1 T-Rex for example, you tame a level 25 plus pretty much. Um, this guy is level 70. The XP it has up to level 71 is 5950 in total. Now if we go to Dolly over here, who's level 71, only one level higher. The XP to the next level is 23,105. Uh, that's a big, big difference. It's more than 15,000 XP more for one level. Higher, pretty much. So, I, I don't remember when I, or what level Dolly was when I tamed her. Because it was quite a while ago. But I guess she was quite low level. And um, that's why her XP is so high now. And it takes such a long time to level her up. I got two levels now in like the past three or four days with constant farming almost. almost. And uh, I don't know, if I kill a Alpha Carno, I think I get maybe like one fourth of her XP that she needs. But yeah. It's all good. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to show you guys. And um, this episode is done for today. And uh, in the next episode, like I said, we can hopefully finish the um, watchtowers. And maybe we can craft the refrigerator. Or maybe the turret instead of the refrigerator. Um, I think the turret is more needed especially th since I do believe that I need one more um, generator as well so yeah that's gonna be it for this episode so thanks for watching and I will see you next time so peace out <laughs>